Hello, my name is Jason Johnson, amateur radio operator, Kilo 3 Juliet, Sierra Juliet. And in this video, I'm going to cover how you can use Vera AC canned messages to make the check-in process to the Vera AC Wednesday event as easy as possible. The canned messages have some advantages in that they speed up the check-in process. They also provide a consistent message on a weekly basis. And with our new website, we have a tool on there that you can use to tailor the message with your specific information. And I'm going to show you how you can take the output of that website and get up and running with Vera AC to send canned messages for the weekly check-in. Let's check it out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look how we can use templates and canned messages to check into the Vera AC Wednesday net. So we recently released our website, veraacwednesday.net, and you can find information about when the net's going to be, what types of messages you'll send on a weekly basis, training materials, and the weekly check-in results. So go ahead and uh, open the website up, and we're going to go to a section under Tools called Check-in Template Generator. So this particular form is, is what you'll fill out to generate the canned message template that will be added to the Vera AC application. Uh, the, the form does validate that you have a valid call sign and carbon copy email address. The carbon copy address is where you want to also send the message to um, so you know that your message was successfully delivered to the Vera AC Wednesday account. So we'll go ahead and populate this form uh, using my information. So my call sign is K3JSJ. My first name is Jason. I'm located in Bowie. Now the county, if you're in the United States, you can fill this out. If you're not in the United States, uh, just go ahead and leave this blank. So I'm located in Prince George's County in Maryland. I'll be checking in using HF. And the carbon copy, I want to send the carbon copy of the check-in message to my ARRL address, which is my call sign. All right, now that I have that um, everything completed um, and I've com successfully s provided a valid call sign and email address, I click the Generate button. If you don't provide a valid email or call sign, you will get a, a, a message pop up asking you to go back and re re redo that. So now that we have generated the template, we're going to go ahead and say click the Copy button. And you get a message from the website saying this has been copied to your clipboard. Go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to task switch and go over to the Vera application that I already have up and running. And you'll notice there's two gateway stations providing email service that are currently active on 40 meters. But before I send the message, I have a couple things I need to set up in the program. First, I have to go to Settings My Information, and I have to provide the email address that I want the recipient to use to reply back to me. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use my Gmail address. And you can use the address you want messages to reply back to you. You would fill that out. Click the Save and Exit button. Next, go under Settings, Canned Predefined Messages. And you may have a number of these already predefined on your installation. Um, I went ahead and cleared out uh, message position number two, and that's where I want to put my check-in message. So I'll go ahead and do Control-V to paste. And then for the name, I'm going to uh, pick Vera AC Wednesday HF. So you could also use this method to go back to the website if you wanted to check in over two meters, for example. Um, you, could, you could do basically the same thing except change it to... Uh, say VHF, and then in another section you would put that information. So for me, I'm just going to go to do the HF right now. So go ahead and click Save and Close. All right, so that is already ready to... Um, I've configured my Vera AC program, and I can now log in each week to the net. So at this point, let's, let's just assume that Wednesday's um, has come, and I'm ready to go ahead and check in. To do that, I click the Send Vmail button, and I'm going to select Vera Wednesday HF. 
and you'll notice that everything to do the check-in has been completed and filled out. It has the address of the, of the net, the veraacwednesday at gmail.com. It also included my uh, ARRL address for a carbon copy. The subject is correct, and then the message has my check-in string. One of the nice things about uh, these pre can messages is they provide a consistent message every week and eliminates errors. And also you can see how quickly it was to go ahead and create this message as opposed to trying to type all the information out. Before I go ahead and put this in my outbox, I want to choose to, to where to, the reply will go um, for, to this message when it gets sent over the internet to veraacwednesday at gmail.com. Uh, the second option, the email gateway, if the message responded, it would come back to the Vera AC gateway and it would leave a message there and I would have to connect over HF to pick it up. I don't want to do that for this example. I want to go ahead and have the reply message sent to my Gmail box. So I'll pick that first option there. So now I'm satisfied with the message. I click send to put it in my outbox. All right. At this point, we have uh, two gateway stations that are um, online. I want to go ahead and connect to them, one of them. This one has a pretty good signal to noise ratio and negative four. So I'll go ahead and initiate a contact, a connection request. All right, so I'm connected to that station. I want to go ahead and QSY to slot uh, number 13. So I'm not causing any interference on the calling frequency. It's important to do this to not send vmails um, on the calling frequency, but just QSY somewhere else. All right, I want to go ahead and... Oh, right, so I didn't click do not send. Um, so this message popped up, it says, um, QSY in order to relay a message. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for the QSY to go through. And I'm going to click the QSY button. And with this pop-up, it says that the, the person's away. I'm just going to go ahead and click close and ignore that message. And you can see on the message, um, the station is serving as an email, an email gateway. So I'm on the frequency, uh, slot number 13, and it's wait for this send message to go through. And you'll notice now what's going out in the queue is it's sending my, um, it's queued up to send out my Vmail. You'll see we logged in, did a signal report, there was a QSY re request. The, Q, the, the QSY was accepted, and now the message is sending out. And this would be the message for the weekly check-in message. So the speed, 61 bits per second. It's, you can kind of see the progress of that, what's, what's been sent and what's remaining. All right, so the message was sent across the, the network. I want to wait for a response to come back, um, telling me that the, the message was successfully delivered. And there it is. Uh, the, the email delivered successfully, as well as the email was sent successfully. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the inbox of the Vera AC uh, Gmail account and show what message came in. And here we have it. We have a, a new message that just popped up. So if I open up this message, it was my check-in is on the first line. 
And then I have a relay to call sign. And then there's uh, information about, about that. And you'll see the mail headers here. Um, you'll notice that it was sent to the veric Wednesday at gmail.com. Um, it was also included a CC to the K3JSJ at ARRL.net. And checking my phone, I have the message on my, my, my application there. You also notice here there's a, a field called reply to. So the reply to message is the, the address that this message is going to go to when I click reply. And I have my Gmail box open here in the other tab. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate the message delivery to that uh, inbox is I'm going to go ahead and reply. And I'm going to put a check-in message received. See you next week. All right, click send. And if I go ahead and go over to my email box here, there we go. Go ahead and open that up. And there's the message. So we've um, successfully um, sent the message to the Gmail box for the weekly check-in for the net, and then also demonstrated how the reply to um, happens. And I get the message sent to the, the address. So thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you, um, makes the process uh, seamless and easy for you to log in to the weekly Vera AC Wednesday event. Uh, please check us out on the web at www.veraacwednesday.net. And you can find a variety of different information, uh, instructions on how to log in each week. You can also find training materials on that help you um, become a solid uh, Vera AC operator, um, which those include how to use the program, how to set up your audio settings, as well as um, the top 10 um, maybe things that you may not know about the program as a new user, or maybe you have been using Vera AC for a while, but maybe there's a feature you're just not familiar with. So thank you for tuning in, and we hope that this has been helpful for you, and we hope to see you every week on the Vera AC Wednesday event. This has been Jason, K3JSJ, and I will say 73, and have a great afternoon.